Hello students, welcome to Thirumal classes. Again, I came with one of the most important thinker in anthropology. We know in anthropology optional, thinkers are very very important. Sometimes the questions are directly on thinkers and their contributions. In this series, we will talk about thinkers and their contribution to the field of anthropology. Today, I am here to discuss about one of the prominent anthropologists, his name is L.H. Morgan. L.H. Lewis Henry Morgan. He is in between 1818 to 1881. He was an American anthropologist. He was an American anthropologist. We know this point originally. Anthropology first developed in Western countries. In the UPSC syllabus, Paper 1, Chapter 1.1 of your optional anthropology, we will be discussing about anthropology as a subject. First, it was developed in Western countries like British, later America, later Germany, later that spread to India and many other countries. And we know anthropology has importance in each and every domain and discipline in the modern state. Means, the applications of anthropology is there in every sector and every field, including genetic, human evolution, human variation, application of anthropology, defense, forensic, everywhere. To know that first we should understand who are the thinkers contributed for the development of anthropology. This Louis Henry Morgan belonged to American anthropologist. Originally, he is a lawyer. Originally, he is not direct anthropologist, he is a lawyer originally, but maximum is a life. He lived very close with a tribal community called as Iroquois. Very important, Louis Henry is an American anthropologist by profession, he is a lawyer. Maximum of his life, he studied or he stayed very closely with a tribal community called as Iroquois. Very important. Iroquois tribal community. Like he attracted to clubs. Americans are very much attracted to the clubs, club culture. Being a lawyer, after he became an anthropologist, he was a member of many clubs in America. That is personal data. But when you look at Morgan also observed that Indian customs, I mean to say L.H. Morgan, L.H. Morgan he studied Iroquois community, he also studied Indian customs. But remember, he studied everything through secondary sources. He studied everything through what? Secondary sources. I mean to say, he collected data through questionary method. He collected data through what? Questionary method. When he studied Indian customs, he, you know, he believed that. Indian customs are rapidly changing. Why Indian customs are rapidly changing? We see that the culture or customs, they are changing according to time, according to our situations. As we are progressing, for example, savagery, barbarism, civilization. As we are moving from one stage to another stage, the culture is changing, custom, tradition, everything is changing. L.H. Morgan believed that we have to record all the cultural data, all the customs of Indians before they become extinct. If you are not practicing any kind of culture or custom or a period of time that become extinct, if you are practicing, that would be continued. If you are not practicing, that became extinct. So many cultural traits became extinct because in a changing process, we left some of the customs, we habituated to new customs. So before, before losing those customs, he believed that we have to record all the customs by a method called as questioning and interviewing. He studied Iroquois, he studied Indian customs. In both the cases, he used a technique called as questioning. For example, he has created a set of 200 questions. These 200 questions he asked, Iroquois, 
He also asks Indian people to know Indian customs. Based on their answers, he collected data to preserve tradition, cultures for future generations. We know what is present culture. How do you know the past culture? If somebody recorded, then only we can understand what is present, what is the past. Comparison between these two, then we can say whether culture is changed or not. Whether old cultural features continued or not. Everything is possible when you know present culture in comparison with old culture. To study culture, to record the cultures, he has used technique called as interviewing and questioning method with a set of 200 questions. Through this questioning method, Henry Morgan collected data. The data he written in a book called as very very important. The book name which is written by Henry Morgan is The League of the Iroquois, 1851. The book written by Henry Morgan is League of Iroquois. Why is it studied more in Iroquois? About them, he mentioned in a book called as Study of Iroquois. Very important. So what is Henry Morgan? American anthropologist. By profession, he was a lawyer. Next, he studied Iroquois communities, Indian customs to record the data before they became extinct. Why? Because thus time progressing, there will be change in cultural rights, customs. Before they became extinct, he wanted to record them by using questionary method. All the data which he collected through questionary method mentioned in a book called as The League of Iroquois. So simple, what is the book written by Henry Morgan? The book written by Henry Morgan is League of Iroquois. Very, very important for our examination. Up to this point, clear right? Yes. Let us see next. In his book, he also described dance, games, religion, language, political organization, family organizations of Iroquois. I said... What is the book name? The League of the Iroquois. In this book, this is Iroquois community. They were known for dancing. They were known for games. They have a religion. They have family structure, language, political structure. Everything he learned, he understood from the community by staying and by asking questions. The given data that is recorded. That book is called League of Iroquois. In this book, it is having dance about Iroquois, games of Iroquois, religion, language, political, family, everything about Iroquois mentioned in a book called as League of Iroquois. So whenever I say Henry Morgan, you have a simple answer. He studied Iroquois community. He wrote a book called as League of Iroquois. Clear everybody? Yes. Let us see next one. One of the one of Iroquois that particularly attracted him was their system of addressing the relatives. Let us say, I am Henry Morgan. Why I connected more to Iroquois communities? There are many tribal communities. Why this Henry Morgan more connected to Iroquois community? The reason is the terminology they use to call their relatives. He much attracted. Iroquois calling the relatives with the different names. He attracted by their culture. That is the reason he studied Iroquois. In Iroquois, the children called all mother, sisters are mother. For example, my mother and my mother's sisters generally called as aunt. But in Iroquois, mother, mother's sisters also called mother. Father, father's brothers also called fathers. Generally, father's brother, uncle, paternal uncle. Let us say mother's brother. Mother's brother is different. Mother's sister. Generally, we called aunt. But in Iroquois, mother's sisters, also called mother. Father's brothers, also called fathers. That is the important technique or kin relationship 
in terminology they used to call they used to call their relatives that point made the lh morgan much interesting to study in a quiet tribal community again thing you see all fathers brother called as father morgan called this system is classificatory right on the point that morgan classified the kinship system the kinship system into two ways one is called as one is called as classificatory kinship system another one is descriptive kinship system in the topic called as kinship i'll be discussing with you about lh morgan so morgan studied kinship terminology yes divide into two one is called classificatory kinship another one is called as descriptive kinship classificatory same generation same generation same people calling with same relationship mother mother sister same generation calling with same kinship terminology like mother is mother mother sister also called mother that is called classificatory calling all the age group in all the same generation calling all the age group in same generation is called as classificatory kinship descriptive calling different terminologies for different relatives mother's sister is a mother classificatory mother's sister is aunt is a descriptive are you getting it right this terminology is given by henry morgan while studying iroquois community he studied more about iroquois kinship terminology that is classificatory another one is descriptive are you getting this point yes let us see the next concept of iroquois in the iroquois he also wrote another book based on the kinship terminology he wrote a book called as systems of consanguinity and affinity of human family consanguinity blood relatives consanguinous is a blood relatives when i say affinity or a final is a marital relations your wife is not blood relative it is a final relation are you getting in case of your son father they are all called as consanguinous he studied kinship again on the kinship he wrote a book called as system of consanguinity and affinity of human family so finally i would say he wrote two books one is called as the league of iroquois another one is called as the system of consanguinity and affinity of human family which explained kinship terminology in iroquois in iroquois tribal community clear right the next one so in this he also traced back the american society is like asian society the american society is like asian society means in asia mothers mother is called mother the same system is there in america that is what he believed but later on many people criticized in asia not only classificatory kinship we too also have descriptive kinship in not only in asian countries in other countries we have a classificatory system why the america has taken classificatory system only from asia why not from others that is a criticism on this henry morgan even henry morgan unable to answer to this particular question that became criticism on part of henry morgan these are the bullet points one must know about henry morgan just list out these points you are definitely fetching good marks in anthropology let us see another thinker in our next video i hope you understood this concept all the best